Hi guys, this is Nadia from Mama Hearts Polish. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some uh, live swatches, kind of first impression on this beautiful holographic polish from Bad Bish Polish. It's called For the Curious. This is going to be her Polish Con exclusive. If you don't know what Polish Con is, it is uh, sort of like a polish, it's a convention for people that like nail polish, mostly indie polish. Um, I'm not going to be there, but a whole bunch of people are going to be there. It's a really big event. It's in Chicago this year. Um, I think it's in September. I don't know the exact date. Uh, I'll link that in the, uh, put that in the, the description box below. Anyway, so I just got this yesterday. So I haven't opened it. I haven't swatched it. You can see it's a really intense, uh, holographic. I'm not sure how I would describe it. It's kind of, I mean, it's, I see gold. I see a little bit of rose. Um, I'd have to check, I'm going to check the notes that, uh, the Brit, the maker of, uh, BBP, BBP sent me, and I'll verify. Anyway, let's see what it looks like when I open it up. Very pretty. I'm guessing it's going to be also super opaque. Like, most of her hollows, most of her polishes are opaque in one to two coats, unless it's, like, a jelly, which is done on purpose that way super pretty. So let's see how it swatches. Okay, so I had to switch cameras. Um, if it sounds different or looks different, I'm sorry, my regular uh, Nikon camera wasn't cooperating, so now I'm using my phone. Anyway, so let's get started. I don't have anything on my nails except for base coat, and this is the first time I'm applying it, so I don't know what it's going to be like, but like I said before, I'm guessing it's going to be one coat. brushes are like really uh, wide and flat which I know most people like but I have really small narrow nails so they can be a bit messy when I'm applying them so but they do actually make it really easy to apply because you need less strokes it's really more of a me thing that is one coat I think I'm gonna do a second coat because I just with the bright lights, it looks perfect, but I'm going to guess that it, in real life it probably needs a second coat, so I'm going to verify and clean up and do this. So let's add a second coat. The formula for these is just so nice and smooth, really even, self levels. You don't really have to do much. If you have average size nails instead of tiny petite nails, you probably would barely have to do any cleanup. I'm really petite, I'm not even 5 feet tall, so my hands are really small. Okay guys, so here is what the, uh, for the curious, curious, I'm sorry guys, English is actually my second language, so I sometimes uh, mess up pronunciation of certain words or my accent is stronger or whatever, Spanish is my first, uh, my native language. Anyways, here's what for the curious looks like when it's all done. I did not add top coat, just, um, cleaned up around the edges. As you can see, it is a very, really intense holographic. So I checked with um, Britt and she said that sh the color can be described as sort of like a beige with a little bit of rosy 
shimmer to it and some lights. Basically, I think I would call this like a champagne. It's not really a rose gold. Maybe more like a champagne color. It's got some of that golden rosiness to it, but also like I said, a little bit of a little bit of a tan. It's sort of like a holographic version of like a nude, sort of like really intense. It's just super pretty. So this will be available on the PolishCon event, which is on September 23rd. Um, it is $15 a bottle, and I will have a blog post about it at my blog called MamaHeartsPolish.com, and you can also, I'll put in some more information in the description box below, so you can check that out, um, and anything I might, uh, any information I might miss, I'll just add it in the, uh, in the blog post, it'll all be included. So here's what it looks like, and in the blog post I'll also include um, different lighting because these are really strong LED lights to show you the holographic effect. So let me turn turn them off. So you can see in like regular average fluorescent lighting from my kitchen, it doesn't look as intense, but maybe you can appreciate the base color a little better. But anyway, I will have different light sources. I'll try to have different light sources and angles in the photos in my blog and you can check those out at mamaheartspolish.com so um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more swatches and videos and thanks for watching